Top of the morning, all. It's St. Patrick's Day, and I'm taking out time from getting ready for work just to do this video for you. I want you to be able to celebrate and enjoy the entire day through Friday into the weekend. St. Patrick's Day is not just a day. It's the month. Remember that little tip. So anyways, again, St. Patrick's Day, why do we celebrate it? Well, back in about 463, a missionary, Patrick, um, went into Ireland bringing Christianity with him. Now, I'm not going to get into the whole political aspect of this, okay? You can fight it out down below. But anyways, St. Patrick's Day is a day to commemorate him and what he did bringing Christianity to Ireland. A little history on Patrick himself is that it, he was actually born in Roman Britain when it was occupied by the Romans. At age 16, he was kidnapped, brought to Ireland as a slave. I know some of you might, oh, but hey, it happened. And he escaped, went back to Britain, but then eventually returned to Ireland as a missionary. So that's the history of Patrick, St. Patrick. Now, as you can see, I got wearing my green, Boston, the most Irish city in the world. Well, in the United States, anyways. And green is the color you most normally associate with St. Patrick's Day or Ireland. But there is another color. Any idea what that color is? Okay, it's orange. And that is why the Irish flag is green, white, and orange. Green is for the Catholics. Orange is actually for the Protestant minority. And then white is supposed to, it's between the green and the orange, it's supposed to symbolize peace between the two. Now, if you remember, like I did as a kid growing up, um, no, there was no peace. But um, there is now. But that's what the issue was. And, and again, Northern Ireland, they're part of actually the United Kingdom. Well, Ireland, or the Republic of Ireland, which is about five-sixths of the island, is an independent nation. So, and I love history, but that part of history always kind of confused me. What's going on here and there? So, but yeah, just a little background there. In the orange, it actually came from Sir William of Orange back, I believe it was the 1100s, give or take. Can't remember that far back. All right, but let's get into tonight's drink. Excuse me, this morning's drink. Uh, again, it's going to have to do with St. Patrick's Day, something you'll be able to enjoy. And it's just a green, you know, what I call the green shamrock. Pretty simple to put together. It's one ounce of all the ingredients which I'll be showing you, I'll be putting it together here. And let's get started. Okay, first of all, of course, you're gonna need your glass. You're gonna need some rocks here. Yeah, no. right there, okay? Now, first ingredient is vodka. Now, I know some of you are oh, screaming and bloody murder and all this other stuff. Okay, now this vodka is actually from Sweden. But, you know, let's not get caught up in the name. So, I mean, it's getting kind of silly where they're actually banning cats, the Russian blue, and there might be another breed. They're cats, people, okay? Get over it. Okay, some white rum. So I'm using Malibu, one ounce again. You know me, I like my precise measurements. And let's go with a little gin next. As you all know, I prefer my beef eater. I'll find the cap later. Okay, that goes there. Now, how do we get the green? A little melon liqueur. I love this stuff. So, of course, we might have to come back to this part. Oh, we're good. All right. I like it, Green. Right, get that back on. A little triple sec and sweet and sour mix. Okay, any brand will do. 
Sweet and sour is just equal parts of sugar and water. You can easily make your own. And then, uh, you know, sweet and sour. So. Okay. And you're going to finish it off with some Sprite. Lane, thank you for letting me use your Sprite. Appreciate it. And one ounce of all that. Okay. Now it says you can garnish with a lime. Or, yeah, with a lime. But why waste a lime? Use it for you. Save it for your tequila. And here we go. And that goes something green. I guess I could have gone orange, but I'm keeping it traditional. Let's try it out here. You pick up the melon liqueur. That's really the only aroma you're getting. Oh, that's very good. I guess the house is going to blow up. But anyways, no, that is very good. It's not sweet at all, despite the sweet and sour. And uh, I think you really enjoy it. It will really carry you through the day. See, thank you for being patient. It will carry you through the day. Now, if you really need, if you, it's one of those days, you know, you're just like, how am I going to get through today, St. Patrick's Day? You know, you know, I would never, never advocate consuming adult beverages so early in the morning. If you know me, I would not do that. But I have a friend here, Jameson, Irish whiskey. He has informed me he is very good with coffee. Just saying. Yeah, I just don't want to. Just want to put that out there. Yeah, I don't want to openly endorse anything. So, hey, you folks have a great day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And remember, stay thirsty, drink well.